Kimberly Squirrel was a mother and a sister. Her family says she struggled with addiction but was trying to get sober. She froze to death in Saskatoon in January, three days after being released from a correctional facility in Prince Albert. Her family wasn't notified of her release. Sean Fraser with the John Howard Society says it's part of a bigger issue. I think the big challenge that this speaks to is people being released from custody into homelessness. I think that happens all too often. And, uh, you know, in this case, it really was a tragic ending, but uh, all too often we see people being released into homelessness and then they end back up in prison. You know, it can be a revolving door for some people, and that's just uh, silly for us to tolerate that as a society. And it's also one of the most expensive ways for us to deal with incarceration. Fraser says case plans can be made when someone is released, but that depends on the circumstance. When someone is able to make a case plan, it's not always very in-depth because workers can be overwhelmed. He added that the pandemic has made a bad situation worse when it comes to access to affordable and safe housing. Michelle Audette is the Senior Advisor on Reconciliation and Indigenous Education at Laval University in Quebec City. She says she was shocked to hear of Squirrel's death. It was for me, what happened? Or it made myself create like a, a narrative or a story of what did the system hide or did uh, to our sister. For now, Squirrel's family, including her six children, will continue to mourn her tragic death. Emily Pasiak, CBC News.